Okay, so um, these are kayak paddles. These are one piece uh, uh, variety of species of black walnut, black cherry. This is a design that you usually see in uh, carbon fiber or hard plastic paddles. Never really seen it in wood, but I duplicated it in this black cherry here. It's nice. They're all uh, joined uh, in the middle with a stainless steel breakdown joint. Here we have, we're moving to canoe paddles here. Uh, one piece or a variety of uh, laminates, in this case black cherry, black walnut, white ash. Um, this one's black, black walnut, sugar maple over here, white ash. They're nice. Black cherry, that's a uh, red cedar, that's an Aleutian, that's a uh, replica of an old Aleutian kayak paddle. So the islands coming off Alaska, the Great. indigenous peoples there, as far as we know, used a paddle just like or very similar to that. Right. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, so... So what's with the bows here? Well, uh, all handmade wooden bows, all local. I'm from Hamilton, southern Ontario. Uh, local hardwoods, only local hardwoods, mainly two styles, uh, one piece character bows. So this is Osage Orange. Got it from Caledonia. Squirrely grain like that. You have to follow that grain or else the bow will fail. This is one piece uh, black walnut. There's another Osage Orange character bow. Primitive. Highly effective. Here we have uh, hardwood laminates. In this case an Osage Orange belly. A hickory bat. Uh, black cherry tips, cherry riser, in this case uh, hickory and white oak, reflex laminate. Here we have some uh, horse bows, designed to be shorter bows, designed to be shot off a horse. Here we have black walnut Osage orange with a hickory bat, just mildly recurved tips, black walnut, the whole thing sits in reflex. This is an Osage Orange reflex bow also, some black cherry knots, just a lighter, lighter weight bow but a quick shooter. Very nice. All the strings are uh, linen and silk. So wherever it touches wood, right. either, on the, uh, either on the bow, yeah. it's, it's served with, lin with silk because the linen has incredible resistance to the force or the load but it has no abrasion resistance. So wherever it touches wood here on the bow, where you knock your arrow, it's wrapped with silk, and that protects the linen. Hmm. Everything gets 10 coats of, uh, all the bows get 10 coats of tongue oil. The, varnish, the laminate paddles get three coats of varnish, and the one-piece paddles get 10 coats of tongue oil. Hmm. I'm Dave Borsalino with Red Hill Woods. Well, thank you. It's all custom wood products. Looks very nice. Thank you. It's nice to see how the stainless works with the wood here. Yeah, Looks they very are attractive. carbon fiber, but I go just for the stainless. Yeah, yeah, very nice. All woods are local and sustainably harvested. Thank you. Pleasure.